I get up in the morning, my clock tick tock, ringing me awake, then check my watch, double check on the way in, get in my car and drive in at 7.37 exact. Traffic always good along the way, drive right past the scavengers, out of time, out of place. Get my coffee along the way, and I was punctual, I punched the time clock on the door, five minutes to eight. I worked under Jack Smith, a veteran of the five-day, 35-minute war. He was in the shit when they stormed the clock tower. He was in the trenches firing off the minute missiles and sleep gas. He started coughing. What? When? Where? Got the mask on just in time. He kept on firing. You know the story, then we broke down the doors. We fought our way in, up the steps, step by step, and hit the clockworks. The cute shit slimy bastard put up a fight for me. it through. We reset their clock. You've heard the story, the last thing Johnny On did, just bleeding in his last minute, he moved the dial back to 35 minutes. He moved it back with his whole hands. It was later on the generals. They changed the calendar back to five days, but Johnny moved that dial back to on time, our time, the right time. Five days, 35 minutes, well worth fighting for. So I punched the in and worked my ship. The ore came in, bulldozed off the scumlands, round hills, valleys, trees, earth, mounds. We took it all in by the cartload, by the truckload by the train loaded into the smelter it went right nice. I'd catch it out of the corner of my eye once in a while. Not that I stopped working. My hands kept moving. I did not stop, I tell you, but I'd see the sparks fly in the red glowing furnaces and the smoke rising, the big cranes moving down the line, carrying the glowing bars of time. But it's not like time would stop. I kept on moving, I kept on working. 